If we want to find the derivative of this integrand, then all I basically got to do is plug in my top function into ln of t and then multiply that by the derivative. So I have ln of 3 to the x times the derivative of 3 to the x. Ooh, remember the derivative of 3 to the x? 3 to the x times ln of 3. Good, right? Remember that? ln of 3. So remember, you're just plugging in your 3x into your function and then multiplying it by the derivative. People kind of forget this one because it doesn't come up all the time. So you got to remember when you have exponentials where e is not the base, where you have a base, like a number as a base. Remember, that's the derivative. And then minus ln of 2 plus sine of x. And now we got to take the derivative times the derivative. Well, derivative of 2 is 0. Derivative of sine is cosine of x. Now, do we really need to include that 0 there? No. So let's maybe, uh, um, you know, I'm not really sure if the use them can simplify this out. So I'll just rewrite it. ln of 3 to the x. Um, I'll actually probably write maybe like the 3 to the x in front. ln of 3, ln of, uh, I'm sorry, ln of 3x times the ln of 3. Oh, I guess I could simplify that by adding them. ln of 2 plus sine of x times cosine of x. And there you go. Just following the rules. Oh, did I miss something? Uh, I, did, I, didn't, I wrote down the problem wrong, but that's OK. I wrote down a, I did a different problem here. Dang. That would have been a good one to remember, I guess. OK. Um,